Okay, I'm going to throw my hat in the ring. A lot of people have got blogs and uh, all sorts of stuff on slot cars and things. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing the same. But uh, the idea is just to review my collection for posterity's sake and for my kids to know what's all here and what it's about. Uh, here's an old-ski electric set. I have a uh, IndyCar uh, mock-up wing from the movie Driven. And then I have my track layout. This track uh, moved into this house about 30 years ago, and that's when I built this track. And haven't done much since. But, uh, yeah, plans, now that I'm retired, just retired uh, the uh, beginning of the year, and look at maybe doing some renos. But cars, yeah, I've got a few cars over the years. Cabinets. I am primarily a Formula One fan, but also into Le Mans sports cars, uh, you know, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, some present, but, uh, oh yeah, uh, I've got more up here. Yeah, some of the collector sets and things. Also lots of die casts. Here's uh, 143rd scale and lots of other scales and things as well. Bit of a mess here. <laughs> And over here, yes, my background. I have worked in advertising uh, as art director, creative director. This is uh, promotional material that I created. And this is actually me in this cutout in my go-karting outfit that I used to race back when. And uh, did all the promotional material for the uh, Canadian Grand Prix in Montreal in uh, 89, 90 era. Here's another indie wing. This is carbon fiber. Uh, again, I acquired this because I knew the uh, physical effects guy who did uh, the uh, movie Driven. Little work table, a few projects on the go. More <laughs> rejuvenation and repair. And then some kits that I've got to get to. Loads of stuff. Um, see what I got over here in my cabinet here. Uh, been into slot cars a very long time and the only way to keep uh, going with slot cars was to create my own tires. First thing to go. So lots of tire oh, and some projects. Yeah, it just goes on and on. Bits and pieces everywhere. Uh, more cars. Majority Formula One cars, different makes. From uh, MRC, uh, VIP, uh, Airfix, Scale Electric. Um, got some art in here. Uh, whole, whole slew of stuff. And then we go up here to display cabinet, die cast. Uh, some of my favorite cars over the years. So I do enjoy kind of uh, connecting books, slot cars, die casts, model kits, and uh, having that all come together. There's some more. 118 scale die casts I found I discovered after working on something like this, uh, to me a 112 scale. I found it so much nicer uh, to invest in ready-made metal kits and go from that route there we go big transporter always a fan favorite anybody who comes over loves the big truck with my ferraris from uh, 61 there we go lots of stuff here again one of those tamiya kits i got a bunch of others in the box that i have since fallen apart because i made them you know 45 years ago um, again, working for a living, kind of didn't have the time to be making these kits. That's why I kind of collected the die cast. There we go. Again, the books as well, uh, as you'll see in a minute. 
But again, most of these die casts, I have the slot cars of as well. And here we go. We've got the cabinet. Let me see if I got a big shot here of the library with, of course, model die casts in here. 1 8 scale Lotus 72. Need a, <laughs> a little restoration. Uh, and then down below, lots of magazines. Oh boy, oh, so much in the magazines, all the latest racing news. But uh, honestly, never really revisit them very often because it was hard to figure what was in each issue. Oh, yeah, here we go. One of the first racing die casts I ever got were these Corgis. Nice, reasonable, easily collectible. Annuals, uh, automobile year, auto course. Uh, tried to collect them all. Very difficult and expensive, especially for these earlier ones. See, I got the 1961, 1962 uh, auto courses. One of the first of the hard covers. And, yeah, tons of stuff. Lots of books. Lots of die casts. So that's just kind of an overview. I'm going to wrap things up here, but this is just uh, my first uh, attempt at uh, putting some content together. And uh, I'm going to get into much more detail. Again, uh, I want to document uh, the collection and uh, how it interconnects with each other. Uh, the books, the significant things. I got lots of autographed books and programs and things from the drivers of the time and uh, like going to a lot of vintage races. I got a lot of info to share on that as well. So have a good one and uh, we'll see when I can get to the next video.